Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. What the freak Beep. Friday? What did you get done today? <laughs> what did you get done? Or this whole week, really? Or this week. Yeah. Of course. Did everybody get everything done that they are supposed to get done? Hmm? Did you make some sales? Did you close some transactions? Hey, Karina. Did you make some sales, did Karina? Did you make some flipping money? I hope so. Did we get it done this week? Did you close out all the things you needed to get done? To remember, we were talking about energy. All those <laughs> undone things are draining your life force energy. That's right. So we're wrapping up um, the, the Heck what was yeah, it? made some sales. So that's always a good week when you're making sales. Um, so we're wrapping up how to preserve energy as an entrepreneur. And we wanted to announce that we're going to start our new series coming up on Monday. And it's all about sales. 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 Who wants to make more sales? Anybody have a problem with sales? There's always a challenge out there that we get with, uh, that's a common thread with entrepreneurs trying to get away from making sales, sales yes. calls, following up with clients, following up with leads. It's just like e process a lot of times. And people have this internal picture of being too pushy or being too salesy or not wanting to be manipulative. How would you like to things. sell clients without being that sleazy salesperson, right? How would you like to get inside someone's head and understand their language, the way they want information to be presented to them and then communicate it back to them in their yes. language. So they light up with every single word that you use because really sales is services and service is sales. That's it. So it's your responsibility to learn the process and really dive into the psychology behind sales so you can close more deals and serve more people. Yep, because if you're not selling, you're not serving. And if you're not serving, you're not selling. So in our training that's coming up in October, the 25th through the 27th, we're going to talk about how sales is a spiritual process. We like to bridge spirituality and business. Yeah. Because the two go hand in hand. And by the way, it's difficult if we're just meditating and we're doing what we love. And if, but if that's all we do and we're not getting out there and taking massive action, then our business is going to suffer. So you have to ask yourself, are you really taking care of your clients? Are you providing massive value? value to your clients, value to your customers so that, that you, you know, you've got that exchange of energy. Some of us just want to go out there and like, how can we make money? It's not just about the money. It's about the exchange of value. And some of us just want to go out and help people. And the problem is if you don't help yourself, you're not serving anyone either. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's nope. time for you to make money off your gifts, your God given talents, your soul's purpose. And this is how we're going to show you how to do that. It does not matter how spiritual we are, but if we cannot help ourselves, we sure as heck cannot help others. Yes. So we're going to bridge the gap. So it's going to be, I don't know, maybe a five, maybe longer series. But we'll um, let you know how that goes. So tune in on Monday. And then to wrap up the last the last part of our um, how to preserve your energy as an entrepreneur, let's talk about the incompletes since we're talking about energy anyways. Right now, right now? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> so the last thing, and we didn't even make a title for this, but it just came to me. The last thing that drains you as an entrepreneur is all the incompletes. Incomplete things unfinished tasks, things that are leaky in energy. There's a whole bunch of systems this, I spent this week besides doing some sales is like canceling services, um, getting rid of things, kind of auditing all this stuff where I'm like, what? I'm still paying for that? What the freak? <laughs> like, you gotta be kidding me. Exactly. And it's so frustrating because if you don't audit that and do that every quarter or at least maybe every other month, and like, I'm so bad about that. I'll that get, adds up, by the I way, I will folks. find something that I'm super into, and then I'll sign up, you know, for one of those free trials, and I'll and I'll say, oh, I'll remember to cancel and it in seven days. And they snag your credit card there. And they get your credit card, and yeah. then before you know it, it's like $300 later. You're like, what? We paid for that? Yeah. And we didn't me? even use it. And the sad thing is, is that it's draining your bank account, and you're not even using it. It's actually, it's leaking energy because you're like, oh, I'll get to it. And it's one of those things we procrastinate on, right? Well, and another thing too is all the people that owe you money that are, you know, the contracts that you have floating around that you haven't collected on, those are incomplete and those are also draining your energy. So the things that you can complete should complete so you can start on working on other things that are incomplete. 
The more you complete, the more you continue to complete. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> because it's almost like the split, the spinning plate metaphor of like having all these spinning plates. All these incompletes are things that are taking up brain space. It's wasting neurology. You could be using to create, to create content, to Blah. you know be yeah. Seriously, <laughs> Blah. Blah. seriously, it's taking all your brain power, and it's it's at that. It's like the unconsciousness that's floating in the back of your head that's constantly draining your energy and distracting you. Yep. So call up all the people. If you have people that owe you money or if you have contracts that are kind of floating around or even like in sales too, if you have people that are on the fence saying maybe, call them up and see if they're ready to move forward. Get a yes or a no. Either way, get a decision, right? I mean, come on, thought is like that. Thought takes that. Well, let me think about it. What specifically do you need to think about? How specifically can I help you think about it? Those are great things to get people off because most of us, a lot of people, I'm not saying everyone, just some of us, a few of us, don't like making decisions. We'd rather put it off till tomorrow and delay, <laughs> right? Because yeah. it's like, oh, it's painful or I want to leave my options open. Or what about those uncomfortable conversations that you know you need to have in order to, we talked about it before, boundaries, or maybe there's something that needs to be said to an individual, or you had some sort of, you know, blowout or disagreement, and maybe you haven't called that person in a while and resolved it. Anything that you're avoiding, anything that you are avoiding. It's leaking energy. Is leaking your life force It's energy. freaky Friday the 13th, isn't it? Yeah. I forgot about that. I just realized that today's the 13th. <sighs> and Look. it's a full moon. Oh! And it's a full moon. <laughs> All the crazies come out. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was like a vortex of anger this morning. Is that why everybody's like, like <laughs> just like pouncing on people? Yes, at the house. Has you bizarre. All the women in the house were pouncing on Brandon. It was very. But it wasn't in a fun way. <laughs> it was a very stressful <laughs> Friday. But we got through it, folks. It's, it's we a made it. Color shift there. Yes. <laughs> so we, um, oh, and remember, Negative emotions drain your energy. I had to remind myself that twice today because every time I got fueled up with anger. To get plugged in. Yes, it's you, draining your energy. And you associate energy. into lots of emotions. Yes. Maybe you're a little uncomfortable. I mean, it's important to feel your emotions and ride through it and, you know, understand where it's coming from. And if you're, you know, if holding it, on to it. If it's controlling you, if it's if taking it's, over. This thing that's festering inside and boiling. If it's causing you to. And boiling. If it, if it, <laughs> and boiling. If it's causing you to react, then chances are it's something to, to investigate, something to learn, something to uh, maybe just let go of. Just a little something, not a lot, just a little yeah. bit. So task for tonight is to think about, or this weekend, think about all the incompletes in your life. All the things that are unfinished, whether all the it be unfinished things, agreements, broken or agreements, contracts, agreements you need to remake. Yes. Or also we forgot to say too, I mean, contracts, people haven't paid you back or people owe you money, but it goes both ways. Um, making sure that you have acknowledged all your contracts and deals that you've signed up for and make sure that you have, if you do owe money, that you're constantly paying it. Because otherwise, if you have this like lurking fear of like not paying those bills, oh, that's yeah. going to be draining your energy too. We had a client, they're like, well, how come none of my clients pay me on time? And we asked them, we said, do you pay your bills on time? Where in your life do you not pay your bills on time? Where do you where where in your life do you do the same thing in a different context or something similar? Yeah. And they're like, whoa. <laughs> You're right. Yep. <sighs> yeah, that was a huge learning. We did the same thing. I mean, we audited everything. And do your do an audit every quarter. It's a great idea. Um, and just audit your finances because the financial thing can drain the crap out of you. If you don't understand what's going on in your finances then that unconsciousness will drain your finances. Get in control of your books. Yes. You got to know your numbers. And if you don't know your numbers, then you can't make decisions because you can't say, oh, I'm going to go invest $500 a month in ad spend or, oh, I'm going to go and hire someone. If you don't know your numbers, you cannot make solid decisions. And remember, money is this energy anyways. Yeah, it is. So it and is energy is just making decisions. And all the life force energy that have ha that you have inside of you is connected to the energy that you're bringing in your bank account. Energetic decisions. Yes. Positive or negative. Either way, it's just energy. It's just energy. Right. So thank you so much for hopping on. And if you know Happy somebody freaking like, Friday. And if you know somebody that can benefit from this, 
make sure that you share it and also remember to check out our YouTube channel because we have a YouTube channel where you can find all our videos in one place, all our interviews. We have super excited things coming up on the horizon. And um, stay tuned on next week for sales. Yes. Sales is fun. Let's not make it harder than it really is. It's easy. It's building rapport. It's connecting with relationships, it's building questions, relationships. Just like you would and if you really cared about somebody. You actually have it's to care. It's a fun process. But you actually have to care about them first. Yes. That's the point. You got to care about them first to want to connect, to build rapport, to see if you can serve and build value for them. That's yes. important. So. So if you're watching this on the replay, hit the replay so you see the whole thing. And check us out on Monday. We're going to have the, the kickoff of the sales challenge. Have a fantastic weekend. Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. All right. Bye, y'all. Love you.